guys welcome back to zendry's yard style cooking so today by special request from my daughter that i'm supposed to prepare jerk chicken so that's what i'm doing today it's not going to be the authentic jerk because the authentic jerk is done on a grill with your pimento oil to get all that smoke flavor into your jerk chicken but who said you cannot have jerk chicken in the oven right so i'll be doing some oven jerk chicken all right so here i have three and a half pound of chicken i've already went ahead and seasoned my chicken it has been marinating for about five to six hours all right so i went ahead and did that but not to worry i'm just going to walk you through all the season that i've used to season my chicken all right so i've used my maggi season up the chicken flavor i've also used my maggi all-purpose some whole pimento i've crushed the pimento seed and applied it to my chicken also i've used some maggi season up with ginger garlic powder as well as onion powder and yes my green blend all right there is no jerk chicken for me without my green blend and remember i have a video up on that you can go ahead and check out to see what i've used all right no jerk chicken without your jerk season all right so i'm using the walker zood jerk season and this is the hot and spicy i'm also mixing it with the miracle jerk season and one other thing i did went ahead and use some dry jerk seasoning as well so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go ahead and place my chicken in the oven i'm going to let that bake for one and a half hour but it's not straight during that time i'll be taking it out basting it and stuff all right and i'm also going to make a sauce to go ahead with my jerk chicken this is the baking dish that i will be using to bake my chicken in so i'm just going to go ahead and place these and yes my oven is already preheated to 200 degrees okay so i'm just going to place this in and let it bake for at least an hour and 30 minutes and as i stated that i will be taking it out now and then basting it so it's not going to be baking for the straight one and a half hours okay and some of the skin i did remove some of the skin from my chicken because i just don't like my chicken with skin someone said i'm to try it so i went ahead and i used i left some of the skin on the chicken so this see if i can get another piece in all right so that is nice all right so that's it i'll just put back these for another time okay so that's it now so i'm not going to cover my chicken because i don't want it to get accumulate that whole heap of you know gravy or juice from it i want it to get that nice oven texture to it since as we're not doing it on a grill to get the smoke taste but yes we still can arrive at that by getting it from the oven all right so i'm not going to cover it or anything i'm just going to let that go because i want to get that i'm going to go ahead now put this in the oven and let it start the baking process right and as i said i'm not going to cover this because i don't want it to accumulate any form of juice or anything in there i'm just trying to get that nice dark texture to my chicken since as we are not using a grill to um do the jerk chicken right we still can achieve that authentic <laughs> flavor and taste and everything that we'll normally use a grill to do it for okay all right so let me just put this in the oven then i'll come back and show you how we are progressing as it regards to the chicken okay so guys this is how we are looking so far so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go ahead turn my chicken over so that the other side can get color as well all right so going to do that this is posing a little bit of challenge not to worry as you can see that side is nice we're done So, 
I'm just going to finish this up and then show you when I'm finished turning it over. So what I'm doing for this part, I'm just getting some of the juice. I'm using my turkey baster and this is just to prevent the chicken from being dry. I just want it to be nice and moist, juicy and tender. As you can see, it's not a lot of juice in it because I did not cover it, okay? So now that is done, one more. so I'm going to put back this in the oven and then I'll come back and show you how we're looking again okay what I'm going to do I'm going to make the sauce to serve on my jerk chicken and normally when you're doing jerk chicken jerk chicken don't normally serve with a sauce the the jerk vendors or typical jerk chicken is just basically ketchup and some hot pepper sauce but because I'm doing it with rice I need a little bit of sauce to go with my jerk chicken all right so this is the seasoning left back from when i seasoned the chicken it's not too much i'm going to add about one teaspoon of butter half teaspoon of my green seasoning a little all-purpose seasoning in there and i'm going to be also adding a little one teaspoon of soya sauce okay not too much but i'm going in again with my walker's wood jerk season again so i'll be adding about one teaspoon of my jerk seasoning all right so i have some barbecue sauce remember we're doing jerk you don't normally add barbecue sauce to it but because this has a smoke flavor to it that's the only reason i will be adding some to you to get that smoke taste okay so i'm just going to add that's about one tablespoon all right so i'm going to let this cook until it's nice and thick you can go ahead and add ketchup to it if you choose but i will not be adding any ketchup to my sauce all right so once this is nice and thick then i'll come back and i'll show you how we're looking with our sauce okay the sauce is nice and thick and as you can see guys i didn't add anything to take it just a little bit of the barbecue sauce because it has the smoke flavor as i stated that's the only reason i add it to because normally jerk chicken is just as i said tomato ketchup and hot pepper sauce that's what i know some of the jerk men use okay all right so let's just plate this up and then i'll come back and show it to you guys so there you have it guys my delicious oven jerk chicken and just look at it guys it turned out so perfect and it tastes so delicious so I'm going to go ahead now, plate this up, and show you what I'll be serving it with. So there you have it, my delicious oven jerk chicken. And I'm serving it with some coconut yellow rice, as well as my pasta salad, as well as my garden salad. And as you all know, that I love my fried rye planting, okay? Normally, with jerk chicken, the number one thing that is served with it is bread that's what the german serve it with bread or festival but you know us we like to try different things with it so we serve our jerk chicken with our rice and peas gungo peas and rice or plain rice or whatever we want to serve it with fried red bread fruit or roast bread fruit but whatever you choose to serve it with i'm sure it will turn out great and it will be delicious as i mentioned earlier that this is not the authentic jamaican jerk but this is my authentic oven jerk chicken the originally authentic jamaican jerk is done on a grill or you know jerk pan if it's done on the jerk pan they normally use the pimento hood or they use the charcoal 
to go ahead and do it which give it that smoke flavor delicious goodness as well and you can go ahead and use any type of alcohol of your choice what we normally use here in Jamaica is our red striped beer but because I was doing it in the oven today and I didn't really want to get my children junk I did not add any red striped beer to it okay but it turns out great it tastes delicious and trust me go ahead and try it don't let because you don't have a um a grill or you don't have a jerk pan to do it you um, shy away from doing your jerk chicken you can do it in the oven and it turns out perfectly fine okay so remember try it don't let anybody tell you that you can't try it if you don't have that all right so once again it was a pleasure doing this video for you today guys i hope you did enjoy this video and as i always say remember to like share subscribe and comment all right and remember to go on and invite your friends your neighbor your cousin everybody invite them to come on over subscribe to my channel check out some of the stuff that i've been doing on my channel all right so until i see you guys again and i come your way with something delicious from my kitchen to yours take care of yourself and each other okay all right